Courtney Cleaney was born in 1996 and grew up in Austin, a city in Texas. She came from a traditional family and her parents were very religious. Her childhood was peaceful. Courtney was a good student and although she didn't stand out much in her studies, she did her best to make her parents proud. In her early teens, the 13-year-old already had in mind that she wanted to become an international model and began to participate in several beauty pageants in her state where she won many of them. Her mother supported her in her dream, but her father was always in doubt and wanted her to go to college to follow a more certain path. But soon Courtney started earning a lot of money from advertising campaigns, which significantly improved the lives of everyone around her, and she started to practically support her entire family alone. Due to bad companies, she started drinking heavily and got into some trouble with the law. It didn't take long for her to start doing drugs, and despite never missing a work appointment, when she was off duty, Courtney exaggerated a lot a night in Miami, so much so that in 2015 she was arrested due to a fight in a bar, where she assaulted a man, according to her, to defend a friend. To get out of jail, she had to post an $8,000 bail. Shortly thereafter, she was involved in a car crash without fatalities and was arrested again, having to pay a bail of $50,000. Still in 2015, she was also taken to the police station for driving under the influence and with an expired license. When social media became a rage around the world, Courtney won thousands of fans. It was around this time that she decided to dedicate herself to bodybuilding and soon became a sort of fitness muse. But her life wasn't all about work, she also had fun, and when it came to fun, Courtney thought she knew how to do it. Over the years, she collected boyfriends, friends, and also some enemies, due to her strong temperament. As she left her parents' house very early to pursue her modeling career, along with fame, several personal and financial problems also came, and Courtney decided to create a profile on an adult content website, where she started earning a lot of money making videos and selling bikini photos, using the stage name Courtney Taylor. At that point, her Instagram had more than 2 million followers, she participated in many TV shows and even opened a YouTube channel, where she gave tips on beauty, makeup, and fitness. But Courtney wanted more. Her luxurious lifestyle didn't allow her to stop, and only with the website where she sold photos, she collected about half a million dollars a month. With all that money, Courtney was able to buy her parents a new house, help her siblings financially, and purchase a luxurious penthouse in Miami. On September 16, 2020, Courtney was once again involved in a car crash, and for being at a speed three times above the legal limit, the young woman was arrested again. Yet again, she posted bail and got out of jail the next day. It was around this time that Courtney met a boy named Christian Obamselli, known to everyone as Toby. Christian was a 27-year-old aspiring bodybuilder and was also dedicated to his social media where he had thousands of followers. The two saw each other for the first time at a sporting event, and after that, they started a relationship. It is said that after Courtney started dating, she kind of stopped causing trouble and her previously turbulent life got better. According to friends and acquaintances of the couple, the two seemed to be very much in love with each other. However, they used to argue and fight a lot, most of the time over silly things. Many people said that it was common to see the two with bruises on the body, and many times Christian had a black eye. Some even thought that Courtney might like the more aggressive relationship behind closed doors. That's because before she met Christian, she was never seen with marks of aggression, and neither was he. This could be a warning sign, mainly because Courtney couldn't maintain a relationship for a long time. But since none of her ex-boyfriends filed any charges against her, People believed that everything would be an intimate secret for the couple. In addition to the fact that neither of them complained about their relationship with anyone, which created the feeling that everything was fine with the people close to them. On April 3, 2022, around 5 p.m., the Miami Police Department received a call reporting a domestic dispute. The woman on the other end of the line was crying and screaming desperately, saying that there had been an accident in her house and her boyfriend was passed out. When officers arrived at the residence, they found Courtney and her boyfriend covered in blood. Christian was unconscious. Next to him there was a kitchen knife, 
and he had a wound on the side of his chest, close to his left shoulder. It was Courtney herself who called the police to report that her boyfriend was badly hurt. The boy had very weak vital signs. An ambulance was called, and he was immediately taken to the hospital, but unfortunately, he died due to the massive bleeding. Meanwhile, the police were trying to understand what had happened. Courtney was covered in blood and claimed her boyfriend attacked her. She said they got into a wrestling match and he accidentally landed on the knife. A neighbor from an apartment across the street saw all the police movement. She even recorded a video and took several photos of Courtney being handcuffed by the officers and both the video and the photos later went viral on social media. Even without any official version from the authorities, several people began to speculate about what would have happened. One of them even said that Courtney was streaming alive in a bikini when Christian arrived at the apartment and told her to turn off the camera. They believe it was at that moment that the crime took place. At the police station, Courtney went on to say that she was attacked first and that it was all an accident. The delegate responsible didn't see evidence of a premeditated crime, but of domestic violence followed by self-defense. And that was exactly the official version of the authorities. With that, Courtney didn't get to spend any day in prison. The following day, the police informed the press that the young woman was taken to the police station but claimed self-defense and was released. Later, the police did a brief investigation and found that there were indications of a crime and not self-defense as Courtney had claimed. This information was also given to the press by the authorities, and soon numerous speculations began to emerge. Overall, this kind of left many guessing. Either Courtney was a fragile woman who couldn't take it anymore being assaulted and fought back, or she simply decided to end her boyfriend's life because she was having a bad day. The young woman ended up being accused but could respond to the process in freedom. At a preliminary hearing, her lawyers reaffirmed that she acted in self-defense. They said that Christian went after Courtney with a melee weapon, while she got into a body fight with him to defend herself and ended up pushing him. That's when he would have fallen to the ground on top of the knife, which caused a puncture on his chest at the height of his left shoulder. This perforation ended up reaching a vein and this caused a hemorrhage, leading the boy to death. Despite admitting that their relationship was very violent, Courtney's lawyer said that she tried to help him after he fell and injured himself, that she had no other intention than to defend herself and even call the police. They further stated that someone who commits a premeditated crime, as some were speculating, wouldn't do so. For the lawyers, this thesis was supported by the fact that Courtney always posted pictures of her and her boyfriend on Instagram, demonstrating the love she felt for him. However, Several witnesses came forward and stated that the only aggressive person in the relationship was Courtney. They said that the boy suffered several threats and aggressions from the woman, and that it was common for him to be slapped even in public. The boy even talked to a friend saying he feared for his life, due to Courtney's violent attitudes, but she always asked for forgiveness afterwards, and as he was very passionate about the young woman, he forgave her. To make matters worse for Courtney, her life was turned upside down, with the intention of finding something that could prove that she was not the victim who only tried to defend herself. It turned out that it was not the first time the police had been called to Courtney's home for domestic violence. According to detectives, fights were very common between the couple, and every time the police were called to Courtney's residence, they realized that she was the main aggressor in the relationship. It was also discovered that Courtney's already had a history of violence towards her boyfriends. In the year 2017, she had a relationship with a married man named Sean Roden, a famous bodybuilding champion. In one of the numerous fights between the two, Courtney broke the man's jaw. According to her, she only did it because she found out that he was married. However, some acquaintances of both of them claimed that Courtney always knew that. Their relationship ended after that, and they haven't seen each other ever since. Sean passed away from a hereditary heart condition in November 2021, aged 46. One thing was for sure, only one person knew exactly what had happened that afternoon on April 3rd, and that person was Courtney. The coroner responsible for the analysis carried out on Christian's body stated that everything indicated that he was the victim of a crime. 
Despite this, Courtney was not arrested and the police continued to investigate to find elements that could prove the suspicions about the young woman. In the meantime, two narratives emerged. The first is the version that Courtney took Christian's life in self-defense after he attacked her. The second is that after a fight between the couple that day, which was even heard by some neighbors, Courtney attacked Christian with a bladed weapon. Whether or not she had the intention of taking his life, she managed anyway. Courtney claims it was Christian who took the knife, but given the position the body was in, the projection of the puncture and the way the entire crime scene was found, experts had their doubts that it was all self-defense. Christian's family was completely upset by the development of the situation. They said they didn't believe the version given by Courtney at all. They also said that Christian was never violent with any of his girlfriends and claimed that Courtney was getting privileged treatment for being a white and wealthy woman. Contrary to most detectives, the officer in charge of the case tried to close the discussion around what happened, stating the following, This crime is not a mystery to us. Unfortunately, it is a case of self-defense, regardless of the circumstances that led to it. This statement generated a lot of revolt, especially in Christian's family and friends. Several protests were made and the boy's family created a fund to receive donations and help from volunteers in order to pay for the procedures of a private investigation. Whatever really went down that day in the apartment between Courtney and Christian, their friends say her history of alarming behavior gives plenty of reason to leave everyone wondering. A few days after the incident, she even posted a picture of herself on Instagram wearing a bikini, as if nothing had happened. She ended up being heavily criticized for it. Finally, to this day, the police have not charged Courtney. She has withdrawn from her social media and rarely appears in her Instagram stories. According to her father, the young woman is undergoing psychological treatment as she was very shaken by everything that happened. The police continue to investigate the case, and it was expected that they would come to a conclusion soon. Meanwhile, Christian's family asks for Courtney's arrest, arguing that what happened was a crime and not self-defense. What about you? What do you think? Did Courtney really act in self-defense, or did she intentionally take her boyfriend's life? Leave your opinion here in the comments. Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching until the end, best wishes and I see you next time.